Hello folks and welcome to Paddock Pass, your pre-race edition for this, the inaugural round of the 2022 Formula One World Championship. And I've got to say, it feels great to be back. As is tradition, there is something of an air of a first day back at school on arrival here. But it's more than that, because the new era of Formula One has arrived. And with it, the eagerly anticipated new car regulations, which have been designed to help promote better racing with clean sculpted lines, swooping rear and front wings, which should allow cars to follow each other more closely, new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tires, the return of ground effect, and a reduction of aerodynamic physical adornments, the new cars look strikingly different, all while improving safety and pushing the limit of technical ingenuity. So then, which teams have interpreted the rules most effectively? and which drivers will adapt to their new car the quickest, leading the charge against the rest of the pack. Only time will tell. As always, we can't wait for this season to begin, but for now, from us, that's your So this first race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside and for those back at the factory as well as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. There'll be a lack of rubber out on track, so take it easy for the first couple of laps.
Welcome from the Jeddah Street Circuit for what we hope is going to be a gripping spectacle of racing. It's time to get underway as we join the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's Sergio Perez on pole today, with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, and Russell, Sonoda, Bottas, Norris, and Kevin Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Daniel Ricciardo, and Gasly, Ocon, Mick Schumacher, Lance Stroll, and Alex Albon, Vettel, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And a warm welcome, of course, to my co-commentator here today, someone of tremendous experience and insight. It's the man himself. Anthony Davidson, can we start by having a chat about Sergio Perez? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? A couple of favourites for the win then, but who comes out on top doesn't really matter as long as they give us an entertaining show en route to the chequered flag. And we want to see fair fighting, of course, out there on the track. Let's hope the stewards don't have to get involved too much today.
DRS is now available. The car behind starts to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. Let's make the most of it.
And that brings the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix to a close as we reflect on the team's impressive performance today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Join us here in Imola as we prepare for what will undoubtedly be a magnificent day of racing. It's time, of course, for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's taken anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit, and it's only DRS zone. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Leclerc, Gasly, Norris, Bottas, and Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Fernando Alonso, Daniel Ricciardo and Ocon, Magnussen, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Alex Albon, Vettel and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Anthony Davidson alongside me? as always, to talk you through the action. Should we kick off our conversation with George Russell? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? And let's see who's able to keep their tyres in that temperature sweet spot early on. You've got a great tyre warmer underneath your right foot, and the drivers need to make the most of that on the formation lap, lest they see themselves skating wide at turn one on cold rubber. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
was an illegal manoeuvre. He's got to seize that position or will receive a penalty. We've been handed a three-second penalty for obvious corner cutting.
okay, you'll be given a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Get your head down and let's get it done. Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team and they certainly deserve it. Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. Incredible stuff. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. <laughs>